Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Dee and I do giveaways on this channel. I show handmade cards, tags, whatever, um, whatever I'm into at the moment. I jump around. So today I wanted to share a small haul that I did, uh, also a DIY and then you're gonna want, wanna watch till the end. Okay, so I first did a haul from Jamie, who's a not too shabby. So she listed um, some watermelon stuff, and um, I jumped on it. I was actually at the specialist waiting in the waiting room when the email hit, and I did some shopping while I was waiting. So I picked up two of these um pads and then this is a coordinating pad that goes with it which is really neat so it gives you more options for backgrounds and then i got three packs of the ephemera and if you're interested go to not too shabby shop.com and use coupon code jamie to save yourself 10 percent so the 10% works on everything except for her subscription. Um, those don't apply because you're already getting a savings. Okay, and then the next place that I went shopping at is Dollar Tree. And it's a, a collective haul. And then um, I went to a couple of Dollar Trees. So I want to do some altering. Um, I have a crop coming up in a few months. So I want to try and get ready for that to make some things to give us gifts to people that attend and then I picked up two of these for some wall decor these, these are little miniature pellets and these kind of remind me of like a like a booth like the um like a produce fruit stand ice cream kissing booth stuff like that um, but it's also for a cute little mini sign. Okay, and then I picked up a couple of these. One of the ones that I bought on my last visit, um, many weeks back was defective. I picked up some of these, um, rub-on transfers. And these are new. Um, these I don't think are new. I think these might have been from a previous year, but these just pop in but with these I thought it'd be cute to try and paint these first and then do like um let me show you here coffee flour sugar and then maybe a Diana Markham recipe or a Diana Markham something because she does like a lot of baking and cooking stuff um and then they could also do like farm fresh flowers on these. So I just, I only got one of each. I didn't go crazy because I didn't know how it turned out. And I got a couple in case I screw up. Okay. So, um, and then let's see. I picked up, I picked up one of these. Um, so I'm going to show you. So as you can see, I already, I put it back in the package, but I um, took a couple of these apart. I'm going to show you right now. So I did this one that I took apart and made into a shaker, the window. And then the same thing here. They don't come with acetate, so you have to add your own acetate. And of course, the sequins. And then their um, dimensional foam is really crappy. So it's easy to take these apart and reconstruct it into a shaker. It's perfect. And then um, these are from a previous haul. And I'm going to show you. Here's the bottom part of this. I'm going to show you some cards that I made and then I'm going to show you one that I screwed up and I'm going to redo um, in the next couple of days. Okay, so let me find the one that goes to these cards if I can find it. Okay, so there's this right here that I was able to make three cards with this um, 
3D sticker sheet. So here's the first card that I made and I used the Echo Park, it's uh, springtime. And I used that um, across the card, just leaving a little bit of the edge on the card, the black card base. Um, then I added some um, lavender cardstock that's Recollections. And then I used some of the 3D stickers here. I added a little bit of trim and boom. This stamp right here is from Not Too Shabby Shop. I don't have the stamp with me, but it was, I believe, earlier this spring or last spring. Uh, Jamie did like a set of three stamps and I apologize I don't have this but if you contact her she can probably tell you what stamp set it's called. If I can find it I will put it down in the description box. It's done and this is what the inside looks like. So here it is. Um, I used a black Hobby Lobby card base. Um, I reconstructed this and added um, better a foam to make it more um, sturdy and then I took a piece from the Echo Park paper pad that I just um, showed in this video and I added this thank you sticker that comes from right there. Um, I was going to add it on the door but then it would be too thick. Um, so there's that and then there's this that I made. Let me put it like that. So I made these two and then um, these, these th three things are right here that I cut off of a card. So I still need to find um, a new layout for this. And then I will have completed um, cards. So this, I'm gonna show you this right here. I was able to make two cards. So I made this right here. So, um, these, all of my card bases are from Hobby Lobby from the boxed card sets. And then I just added some plain cardstock, um, layering up. And then, um, I, I took this apart and I reconstructed it, added some acetate. I added some resin pieces along with, um, some sequin and it's a nice, um, shaker. And then over here I added some pretty um light green venice and i don't yeah i didn't put anything on the inside yet but i will um so that is one card from this and then i'm going to show you what i did with the bottom and i'm gonna this is going to be my prototype um so i love all this i need a bigger um sentiment down here this is all i could find quickly because I, I need some birthday cards for the next um, couple of months and then I don't like this fine. My friend loved it but I just I don't know. I wasn't feeling it. Maybe it'll be okay if I have maybe I don't know. I What do you think? You can comment below. You're not going to hurt my feelings. Honesty is the best policy. It's just in your delivery, right? Okay, so that is it for my DIYs and then I wanted to show you what I would like to give away to one subscriber. Um, I'm purging some things out of my house and then I'm also bought some things. So um, I am giving away, let me move all this out of the way because I don't want you to think you're getting all this. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna get a brand new Palette from Dollar Tree. You're gonna get one to alter. I'm gonna give you this spring box to alter. Now you can either add paper on top of here to cover it up um, because spring is um, just seasonal, but you can either put paper on top. Um, but I would challenge you if you want to be challenged, get a sand block and buff all this out, buff everything that has this top on and then paint over it um do a crackle paint to where there's two different colors the crack crackle will peek through what the darker color is so cute and then just decorate the top of your box so so cute so you'll get these two items um you're gonna get one of these 
to make some cards with. Um, get some acetate. If you want to make a shaker, get some acetate. Add acetate. Pull off all the foam here and put better foam. You're going to get one of these to make a card. Um, you're going to get one of these to make a card. Um, you're going to get this retro um very dimensional you're gonna get one of these um, to make a card and then um, one of these to make a card okay and then stuff that I'm giving away that I've already had this is a used um, it's almost used up but I'm giving you a brand new one to go along with this this um, this has what 24 sheets so this one's used that's new um, there are these two paper packs um, that I'm giving you and then this is I don't know how many paper packs are in here there might be maybe four paper packs in here but it's Easter but it's like earth tones so I'm giving you that I, I only used maybe three sheets out of here and then this I bought and I only used one sheet so the rest are in here and it's like pastel really thick um like thick glittered uh like uh canvas I think and then I have some of these um that I didn't use up from um Valentine's this year so I want to get that out so this will probably go in a medium flat weight box, most likely. Um, this all should fit in there. So it's going to go to one subscriber if you're interested. I hope you'll play along with me in the DIY stuff. Um, so your, you, you must, your settings must be on public. You must be a subscriber. And just comment below on here what you like. Um, don't indicate that it's a giveaway, please. This is a hidden giveaway. Um, and I might add more stuff to this because I know I'll be back to Dollar Tree and um, some other places that I'll be shopping that I might um, add in here. I um, mean, I do have a big giant order coming that I'm not going to show that haul, but I will probably add because I have a lot. Just very quickly, what I forgot to add, this is going to be for... USA only and there will be there's one of my babies sleeping oh and the other one's over there <laughs> um but I it's gonna be USA only um so if I pick an international I will um send you twenty dollars PayPal so um when you comment on what items you like in here that's to qualify um list if you're in the united states what state you're in within the united states and then if you're international say the country that you're from but you must say what you like within here so that i know you're participating in the giveaway do not say that it's a giveaway though because then you'll get disqualified and i'll delete your comment okay coming. so i will share some of that it's um i know i have some tons of velvet ribbon coming that i will um share some of that in here in different colors all right um it's getting long enough thank you so much for watching and i will pick a winner um probably in about a week or so i'm not going to announce when i'm going to close it'll just say closed at the end of the title and then um i will get this um shipped out probably at the end of the month sometime so keep watching thank you so much for watching and god bless